Welcome back to Maths with Mrs J. We've been talking about solving equations and in particular we've understood the fact that in order to find the value of the unknown we need to undo operations. We learnt about the fact that addition and subtraction are inverse operations so if you want to undo adding two you need to subtract two from both sides. If you need to undo subtracting three, you need to add three to both sides. We also learnt that multiplication and division are inverse operations. And so to undo multiplying by two, you're going to divide both sides by two. To undo dividing by three, you're going to multiply both sides by three, that sort of thing. Now that's fine if you've just got one operation to do. But what happens if more things have been done? Let's consider this everyday scenario. Let's say you've hurt your foot. You've got a bit of a scratch, bit of a wound that requires a Band-Aid, and you've also um, got a sore ankle. I don't know how you've hurt yourself, but let's just imagine it, okay? The doctor said you're fine to still go to school, but you need to watch out that the wound doesn't become infected. You need to disinfect it twice a day. Right, so it's the morning before school, you've disinfected your foot. All right, you've put on a fresh band aid, then you've put on your ankle brace, then you've put on your sock, then you've put on your shoe. You've gone off to school, you've had a fantastic day, you've come home, and you, then you've remembered, or your mum's reminded you, the doctor said twice a day you need to inspect the wound, disinfect it, etc. You can't just rip the band-aid off. You've got a band-aid, then you've got an ankle brace on top of it, then you've got a sock, then you've got a shoe. We need to do the opposite thing in the opposite order. So the last thing that was put on has to be the first thing that was taken off. The next layer that has to be removed is the sock. Then the next layer that has to be removed is the ankle brace. And finally, we can remove the band-aid, clean our wound, put on a fresh band-aid, that sort of thing, all right? So basically solving equations involves doing the opposite thing in the opposite order. Let's have a look at some examples. All righty, so here we have an example where we've got um, our 2x plus 3 equals 1. Let's do it the way we were doing in the previous video with the boxes, but I also want to show you how to do it without the boxes. All right, so you've started with your x. What's happened to it first? Well, it's been multiplied by 2 to give us 2x. Then what's happened? We've added 3 and we've ended up with 2x plus 3. We have information about what that equals. That equals 1. Now we're going to go back the other way by doing the opposite thing in the opposite order. So the last thing that was done is the first thing that has to be undone. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Then we're going to undo this multiplication by 2 by dividing by 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Let's check if that works. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 Yes, that does equal one, so we're all good there, which is great. Let me show you how you would set it out without the boxes, because normally, from now on, after this video, I'm not going to be using the boxes anymore. All right, so I like to keep my equal signs under each other. It's a good visual reminder to my brain that that equal sign has to be respected, and what you do on one side, you've got to do on the other. So the last thing that was done is the adding three. So that's the first thing that we undo. All right, then we've only got one more layer to remove. Two X means two times X. So to undo the timesing by two, multiplication by two, we're gonna divide by two. There we go there. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna do a few more. Let's just go through to the next slide. Okay, now these ones are even more complicated, but it's okay. It wouldn't matter if 10 things had been done to the X, as long as you follow the order that it's happened and then you go back in the opposite order, you'll be right. 
let's do it with the boxes as well as um, setting it out without the boxes. Okay, so we've started with our X. What's the first thing that's been done to it? Three has been added. How do I know that three has been added and two hasn't been divided first? Well, because this vinculum, this divided by line, kind of means that there are brackets there. It means that the whole thing is divided by two. So three is added and then it's divided by two to give us our x plus three on two. Okay. If you divided by two first and then added three, it would be x over two plus three, which is different. Um, okay, so going back in the other direction, we need to undo this divided by two. How do we undo divided by two? We multiply by two. Seven times two is 14. Now we're gonna undo this addition of three by subtracting three. 14 minus three is 11. Let's check if we're right. We've found that X is 11. 11 plus three is 14 divided by two. Yep, that is seven, it does work, thank goodness. All right, let's do it showing the normal way of showing the working. All right, so my first step is undoing the divided di division by two by multiplying by two. X plus three is 14. Then my next step is to get rid of this adding three by subtracting three. And of course, we get the same answer that we got doing it this way, all right? One more, and then from now on, if you really need to use these boxes to help you, that's perfectly fine. But from now on, I'm going to just be setting it out in this format here. All right, start with your X. What's the first thing that's been done? Well, it's been divided by three, because it's only the X over the three. So we've divided it by three. Then what's happened? Well, two's been taken away. So we've got x on three minus two. And then what's happened? Well, the whole lot of that's been multiplied by four. How do we know the whole lot's been multiplied by four? Because we've got brackets there. So we've got four lots of x on three minus two, and we know that that equals 16. Okay, going back the other way. So opposite thing in opposite order. We're gonna divide by four to undo the times in by four. All right, 16 divided by four is four. Now we're gonna undo subtracting two by adding two. And finally, we're gonna undo division by three by multiplying by three, and we're going to get 18. Let's check, does that work? 18 divided by three is six. Six minus two is four. Four times four, yes, is 16. All right, let's set it out the normal way. So the last thing that was done is the first thing that's got to be undone. So we're going to divide both sides by four. So we're going to get x on three minus two is four. Then the next layer we need to undo is this subtraction of two, and we're going to add two to both sides. So x on three is six, and then we're just going to get rid of this division of three by multiplying by three, and we're going to get x is 18. And there you have it.